Hi there. So in this first segment, we're going to look at logarithms. You've probably met logarithms before at A-level, so this should just be a little 10, 15 minute refresher on how logarithms work. Um, and uh, they can be a bit scary, but we're going to need to do a lot of it in, in your degree. So we just want to refresh this and get everybody on the same page. So let's think of a, an equation. Uh, here's an equation. A equals B to the N. There we've taken A is B n times, so b times b times b times b, all done n times. And that's raising some, something to an exponential. We've raised b to the power of n. Um, it's called exponentiation, um, raising something to a power. Uh, and you can do this uh, lots of ways. I'm going to switch pen briefly. Um, if I take uh, a fractional power, I can have a number like, I don't know, 7 to the power of 1 third, yeah, which is the cube root of 7. Um, now that's the same as uh, taking, um, if I do 7 to the minus 1 third, then that's equal to 1 over uh, the cube root of 7, um, i.e. it's the inverse of the cube root of 7. Um, and uh, I can do lots of other things. I can say, well, 7 to the power of minus 2 thirds, well that's equal to 7, uh, 1 over 7 to the 2 thirds, which is equal to 1 over 7 squared cube rooted. Those are all the same thing. Um, and I can bring the power of 2 out, so that's 1 over 7 cube rooted squared. So generally the, the rule is that if I have uh, uh, something like a times uh, to the n to the m, that's equal to a n times m. And I can do that quite happily. So for instance, I can take 7 to the minus 1 to the 2 to the 3, and that's equal to 7 to the minus 2 thirds. And I can interchange the order of those as much as I like. So that's powers. Now, so the inverse of taking a power is to take logs. And uh, so we now take... Uh, something like log to the base b of a equals n. So b is the base of the logarithm, so-called. Um, so, for instance, if I take b to the n equals a, that would be the same statement. So, um, for instance, if I take log to the base 10 of 100, that's equal to 2. That is 10 squared equals 100. We can all agree on. So those are all cons those are consistent statements. Um, so, for instance, if I want to uh, take logs of this, I would say log of ten squared equals the log of a hundred. Do this to the base ten. So that's equal to two log to the base ten of ten uh, is equal to log to the base ten of one hundred, and that's just one log to the base 10 of 100 equals 2, which is what we started off with. So these are all consistent. So what we need to think about is, what are the rules for logarithms so that we can see that these things are, are true? So, um, if I take uh, an addition rule to start off with, log to the base b of x plus log to the base b of y, that's equal to log the base b of x times y. That is, if I take log x, y, I can separate them out into log x plus log y. So for instance, if I have log of um, 100,000 to the base 10, that's equal to the log to the base 10 of 100 times 1,000, right? Um, so that's equal to log to the base 10 of 100 plus log to the base 10 of 1,000, according to this rule. And that's 2 plus 3, which is equal to 5. Log to the base 10 of 100,000, 10 to the 5 is 100,000. What well, works out. So that's our rule for addition. Now, <coughs> there's a, another rule um, for powers. So for powers, we have um, 
the rule goes like this, that if we have log to the base b of x to the power p, that's equal to p log to the base b of x. So when we take logs, we can just pull the p down and out of there. So for instance, if I have log to the base b of 10 to the 5, or 100,000, that's equal to 5 times log to the base 10 of 10. What power do I need to raise 10 to to get 10? 1. So that's 1. So that's my answer. Um, so that's powers. And from that, we can say, well, um, if I have log to the base b of 1 over x, that's equal to log to the base b of x to the minus 1, which is equal to minus log x. Um, so that's uh, effectively going to give us a subtraction rule. So this is our power rule. Now our subtraction rule, therefore, is that log to the base b of x minus log to the base b of y is equal to log to the base b oops, of x over y. Because uh, a negative log here is x to the minus 1, so that's y to the minus 1, and then we can use the addition rule, and we're there. So that's how they subtract. That's our subtraction rule for logs. Um, and the final thing we need to think about is what happens with a change of base. So logs are a binary operation um, that take two things, A and B, and give you a result. And we can make rules for how logs add, subtract, and so on. Um, and it's just like any other binary operation, like addition or multi multiplication. Okay, so the last thing we might want to do is do a change of base. So let's take um, some value x. So there's x. Um, and we'll say that that's equal to some number c raised to the power of a, or we'll take it as being some number b raised to the power of d. So that is a is equal to log to the base c of x. If we take log to the base c of either side there, we'll get a log c. Um, a log to the base c of c is 1, so we'll get log c x is equal to a. Same is true here. d is equal to log to the base b of x. Okay. Now, the thing is, these two must be equal. Right? So we can say c to the a is equal to b to the d. Okay? Those two things being equal. So if we take uh, log to the base c of, the, of that on both sides, we've got a log to the base c of c, which is 1, is equal to d log to the base c of b. Okay? Now we can substitute for a in here from there. So that's log to the base c of x times 1 is equal to, then we can substitute for b from there, log to the base b of x times log to the base c of b. So we can then say log to the base b of x is equal to uh, log to the base c of x divided by log to the base c of b. Very nice. So that's a way of changing base. So uh, let's think about an example that does that. So I'm going to wipe everything else off. <coughs> and we'll do an example. So very often you have equations like uh, y equals a e to the minus q over rt. So it's an Arrhenius function with an activation energy of q where y goes as the exponential of minus q over t over RT. So the bigger the temperature is, the bigger this is, um, and the smaller this number is. So the bigger the temperature, the smaller it is, sort of thing. Um, and so it's an e to the minus x function. That is, e to the minus x goes like that. Right, so that's temperature, and that's e to the minus uh, t. Uh, let's, let's call it x. It's e to the minus x. 
Um, so if you do one over it, then it goes off the other way, it goes big. Um, so that's what uh, the sort of equation we're dealing with in Arrhenius. So the temperature activated process, the hotter you get, the more the atoms jiggle around, something like that, diffusion. So if we take LUNs, not, so LUN is equal to log to the base E, AE being 2.7, whatever it is. Um, so if you take LUN Y, that's equal to LUN A um, minus Q over RT because the natural log of E is 1. That log of E is to the base E of itself is one. So then we've got um, something which is very nice. We could draw a graph, for instance, of ln y against one over t, and it would have a gradient of minus q over r. Very nice. Except that ln is a kind of awkward thing to take logs of. We'd rather take logs of to the power of ten because we're used to dealing with powers of ten um, in everyday life. So really, we'd rather do it with powers of ten. So we want to change base. So we can then say um, log to the base 10 of y is equal to 1 over the natural log of 10 times ln y, i.e. this formula, right? So, um, and then we can substitute that in um, into this equation. So we can say ln y is equal to ln 10 times log of 10 y. So we'll have ln 10 times log 10y, that's that bit, yeah, is equal to uh, ln 10 times the log to the base 10 of a minus q over rt. Okay, now if we divide down by ln 10, we'll have log to the base 10y is equal to log to the base 10a minus q over r natural log of 10 times 1 over t. So this is a y equals mx plus c, but we're now dealing with powers of 10, and that's very nice. And we'll use that all the time, actually. Um, so that's a very nice thing to be able to do, is to be able to change base. Uh, so that's it for logs. Those are all the rules. Um, they're quite easy. Um, you just got to remember how they work, and then you'll be off to the races and using them all the time.